Hi everybody, Alex the Ployer from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be talking about grid trading and this most fantastic method of trading the Forex market with the least amount of tension or pressure. Now when I started trading the market I uh, traded various techniques but uh, what invariably happened a lot was you, I would trade the breakout of a support area it would break out beautifully and then just reverse and the transaction would obviously go negative or I'd trade another breakout it would go nicely and then come back and take my stop and then go all the way to where I intended it to go and you can see lots of these examples breakout coming back break out beautifully positive look at that and it, sh it shoots straight back so so i'm showing you a few examples of ba breakout trades but the same would apply to bounce trades and it used to drive me absolutely bananas when this happened i hated having losing trades absolutely so i channeled this hatred of losing trades into a technique where you don't have any losers and let me show you how that happened so this is the same chart i showed you previously and all i did is i divided it into a grid now these are all grid lines that you see on the chart and they basically equal distance from each other and i made up this system that i don't care which way the market runs i would have successful deals all the time so how do you have successful deals all the time? Okay, so let me show you. So I created the system called grid trading, dividing the market into those levels. And what I had created were two rules. Very easy. Rule one is when you add a particular grid level, you enter a buy and a sell. Now, firstly, you are guaranteed to have a successful deal. The market's either going to go up or down and that is why I entered a buy and a sell. But at every single level, so I would enter a buy and a sell at, at, at one grid level. If it goes up, I'd enter another buy and sell at that level. If it goes down again, the same thing. And no matter what price action happens, you just enter buys and sells at each level. So that's rule number one. Very simple, very simple if you just think about it you're guaranteed to have a successful deal. So rule two is, and that follows uh, on, on what I've just said, you cash in your positive deals as they reach the next grid level. So using that example before, uh, you would enter a buy and a sell, the buy would go positive as it reaches the next grid level and you cash it in. Then it comes back here, and it reaches another grid level and you cash in the cell that was successful and you just leave the uh, uh, the others open and i'll show you why you leave them open and here are uh, uh, the these two movements are our power movements they are the ones which create a lot of wealth these particular movements where the price goes up and down or goes up uh, twice as much as what it goes down those are really powerful movements but there are other ones which we use in grid trading so let's apply those two rules and uh, let's say we bought and sold at the first level it went up we bought and sold again and we cashed in the buy and then it went down to this the same level the same grid level as before so what would have happened is we would have cashed in one buy going up cashed in one sell going down but this, there would have been an open sell. Remember, we had a buy and a sell here, the open sell here. But because it's at the same level, this, that sell would have a, a profit figure of zero. And there would be a buy here that, that is still open. And that buy, and for argument's sake, I'm taking grid levels, grid gaps of 100, just to make this uh, illustration a lot easier, of 100 pips. Okay, so we've cashed in 200 pips. We have one open deal that's minus 10, 100 and the other one is zero. We have mysteriously made a gain of 100 pips. Fantastic. All right, so let's move on to the next one. So the, exactly the same thing, buy, buy, buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell, and then it goes down here. We cash in the buy as it moves from there to, that's a positive transaction. Then we cash in the next buy, positive transaction, and then we cash in the sell that goes back to that particular grid level. So at this point, 
we will have cashed in one, two, three times. So that's $300 or 300 pips. And we have three open deals. The one being the sell here that is at the same level. So it's zero. Uh, there's the sell over here that is now a minus 100. And there's the buy up here that is also minus 100. If Again, if you add it all up together, minus 100, minus 100, uh, is 200 minus 200 less the 300 positive cash ins suddenly again you have this 100 pip gain and you don't care what happens on the chart as long as the price is moving in an erratic way so that you can cash in on, on the, those particular movements this explains the core of grid trading it is when the price revisits a price level then there's a good chance that it will uh, be in a profitable situation. Okay, here's a typical example of a chart, and it is the, exactly the same chart that I showed you right in the beginning. This time, I've traded it on a grid basis, and again, we're just assuming 100, 100 pip gaps. They might not be that, but I just want to show you the principles involved here. Okay, so let's start here right in the beginning. So there it touched a grid level. So that's a grid uh, touch number one. Then it went down. There's grid uh, touch number two. Then it went down there, touch number three. And then it went up again, touch number four. Now that, remember, that's one of our power moves. And that would be profitable at that time. And then from four, it went down and up again. So that is another profitable move. And then from there, let's have a look. I think I, I missed a number there, so we actually sh short change because there should be a, the seven should be there. But let's just take it the seven, eight, nine, another profitable move from from ten. It went eleven, twelve, the touch there. So there's another profitable move, and then thirteen. 14, 15, another profitable move. Can you see how these formations repeat themselves over and over again? And just going through the chart, I'm not going to bore you with the, the details, but there have been uh, 79 moves. In fact, I missed one, so it must be 80 times that the price has gone from one grid level to another grid level uh, and touched that gr gr grid level. So there are 79 times that the, the price has done that. And sometimes, you know, with these spikes, look at this spike from 30 to 31 to 32, most probably within a few hours of each other, you've cashed in and, and, and that formation alone is a nice positive formation. Now, I'll, uh, you can pause the, the chart and have a look at these formations, but they just repeat themselves over and over again these profitability formations as they go on. So the period we're looking at here is from the 7th of December to the 22nd of January, about a six week period. And let's have a look. Let's say we had started then and we are now in, the, uh, in today's date and what would the situation be? So as the price is at this level, the buys and the sells will be equal, so there's, it will be zero. There will, however, be at this level a buy that hasn't been cashed in, and there a buy, and there a buy, and there a buy, and there. And then there would be sells below the zero, which sell there, sell there, and sell there. And the values of the losses would be m minus 100, because that's how many pips it is away from the zero, minus 200, because that's how many pips and so on and so on and the same thing down here that's minus 100 minus 200 and minus 300 so we have a situation where we've cashed in 79 times but we have eight deals open at plus the two that you've just opened so we've had we've got nine deals open and we've cashed in 79 times now you can see how much that is now um, the other thing I must really point out here is that we have gone through quite big trends here. The, uh, if we take that, the start of the trend, minus 300 up there. So we've, we've looking at an 800 pip trend, 800 pip trend up there, and an 800 pip down there, and now it's gone back into the body of, of, of the price movement. But, so I'm showing you trending markets and sideways markets at the same time. So let's have a look at the results. So uh, here we're in, uh, on our cashed inside, we've got 100 times 79. So that is 
and I'm just using dollars here, but I, it should actually be pips, 7,900. Uh, we've got open trades, and uh, we've done that calculation. I'll just go back for you. So we've got uh, 500, 900, 1,200, 1,400, 1,500, 1,600, 1,800, and then 2,100. So we've got open trades that have a balance of 2,100. It means we've made a gain of 5,800 pips. Oh, that's quite a big gain in six weeks of trading. That's a thousand pips a week. That is exceptional. And that's the kind of thing that comes out of grid trading. And just think about it. We did that on autopilot because this is a system that is so simple that it can be automated. And that is what we've in fact done. You can do it manually using pending orders and that type of thing, but certainly why do it manually if the robot, the trading robot will do it for you. And it is such a simple system. So what are the critical success factors uh, when trading grids? Firstly, you need to use sideway currencies. You don't want ones that are going to trend uh, 2,000 pips in one go, that type of currency. And there are such currencies, like the Euro franc is a, is a really nice sideways currency. So, so you let sideways currencies. Your gap sizing should also be taking into account the volatility of your currency as well as the risk appetite that you uh, will expose yourself to. So what I, what I mean by that is that uh, if the euro, as I've shown you before, has a gap of a hundred and the pound New Zealand, which is a much volatile currency, you, your gap sizes should take that into account and should be a lot bigger. So gap sizing is very important. You control your risk with gap sizing. Then the other aspect is regular cash-ins. If you have too many open deals, uh, that can also uh, that can increase your risk of trading as well as the cost of keeping these open deals going. Uh, the brokers do charge overnight. Uh, charges. Sometimes the owner charges are positive, sometimes they are negative, but on the whole we don't want to expose ourselves to many overnight charges. And then the portfolio approach is very uh, important. You don't want to trade one grid for your whole life uh, and place all your risk on one grid. You should be trading, let's say, 10 grids with different currencies, different gap sizes, that type of thing. And I'll show you examples of that. And you should be trading it as a portfolio so that if one goes bad, the others can uh, look after it and so on. So those are the th critical success factors, uh, portfolio trading, pruning regularly, uh, having appropriate good sizing and sideways currencies. Now we do have, in, in this robot that I mentioned earlier, we have plug and play versions where the currency is already selected, the gap size is already selected, so uh, a lot of that has already been done for you. And here are some results on live accounts. These are, uh, accounts have been traded on a live basis. They all started out as a uh, one thousand dollar account and you can see the beautiful results that we've got and and there are a few other robots in, included here but the grid trend multiplies by far our most robust uh, ea and uh, produces really really good results and even if you start using it on on index trading yeah you can see one that's been running and uh, it's 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 just really generated some huge uh, returns uh, that's the uh, that's the make money ea so it's not what we're looking at and and you can see the grid trend multiply again fantastic results that have come out of these ones these were the ones were traded on a ten thousand dollar account but it just shows the robustness of these particular EAs if you choose the right currency, the right grid size. And uh, these were, in fact, not pruned at all. They just played, uh, traded continuously over the period. And I think this was about a, a six or seven month period. And here's an example of one of those accounts. You can see that it's almost a 100% success rate, slight, not, not quite 100%. And, uh, and that is sometimes when there are spread spikes and things like that, sometimes they spoil the 100% record. Um, uh, but this is a real account and you can see how beautiful the equity chart is going up. And it was trading the euro franc, and it is a 50% return over a period of two, just over 200 days. So you're looking at a, 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 a very nice return at a reasonably low risk. 
Now, as I mentioned previously, we have automated the grid trading. Here is the grid trend multiplier. While we call it a multiplier, as you can see, every time the price visits the same grid level, it cashes in twice and three times and four times over and over and over again. And that is why it multiplies the gains uh, in a, even in a trend. So, uh, so uh, I showed you earlier that there was let's say 800 pip trend upwards and downwards and the grid trend multiplier just multiplied the gains all the time even in a trending market but you don't want to have an excessively strong mo uh, 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 a trending market but a reasonably tra a trending market it can still handle now if you want any further information about this uh, fantastic EA, please use the link that's provided a, a clickable link will be provided in the commentary and in the description of the video. Now I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you a feel of what the potential is of this particular uh, EA. I haven't covered other strategies like a one-way trading strategy and there's a whole lot of other strategies, uh, pruning strategies that you can do. But the basic strategy that I've shown you now is actually good enough to make you a really good return on your money and on your efforts. The beauty here, it is totally automated. You don't have to watch the screens. You don't have to watch the charts. And you want a lot of irrational volatility in the market because you know that every time the price touches a grid, you are cashing in positively. So from me, Alex Atroy, cheerio.